Well, right now, professional sumo has 625 rikishi in 49 stables. Many of them weigh more than 100 kilograms and stand like mountains. Of course, they didn't start out that way. We visited the Otake stable to find how these mountains are made. A day at a sumo stable starts early in the morning. It's only 7 o'clock, but the rikishi have got the mawashi loincloth wrapped around their waist and are ready to work out. Six rikishi belong to the Otake stable. They all live, eat, and sleep under the same roof. Training starts with shiko, the basic exercise for strengthening the lower body. Sumo developed as a Shinto ritual, and shiko has an additional meaning of crushing the evil from the ground. The stomp out continues over the course of an hour. Presiding over it all is the master of the Otake stable. I asked him to take me through the basics. How about this? Completely wrong. <laughs> you just moved your right foot. That's no good. If you move that foot, you can't shift your weight to the other one. What you need to do is to completely shift your weight to the left foot first, lift yourself only with the left foot, and then bring it down. Oh. Next, suriyashi or shuffling. The position is low. The move involves going forward while keeping the soles of the feet on the ground to strengthen the lower body. Here, the rikishi are mixing it up in Moshi practice matches. The winner remains in the ring to take on other comers. Some go through more than 30 bouts a day. The training session lasts more than three hours without a break. Abderrahman Shalan from Egypt is the first person from the African continent to make a go of it as a pro in Japanese sumo. He's 20 now. Next month, he makes his debut. The Matawari exercise builds flexibility in the hip joint so that a rikishi can keep his center of gravity low. Shalan's body is not so flexible though, so for him, this is the most challenging task of all. The work isn't restricted to workouts in the ring. The rikishi have chores to tend to at their stables. Shalan is the youngest, and he's responsible for cleaning the bathroom. The environment of sumo comes as something of a culture shock, but he has high hopes of making his way to the very top. There's a big difference between the culture and the lifestyle, but because I have a dream. So whatever lifestyle, whatever problem I faced, I don't care about that. I just care about my dream and I reach it. <laughs> Nobody likes house cleaning. At home, your mother might wash your clothes and cook your meals for you. But once you're in a sumo stable, you have to do everything yourself. It's good training, though, for mental maturity. The training regimen includes eating right. That's different than regular folks. On the day we visited, the six rikishi consumed a stew of three kilograms of chicken and more than ten kinds of vegetables. Thank you, It's called chanko nabe, the meal of choice for sumo rikishi. They flavor it with soy sauce and sake. Chan in chanko means parent and ko means child. The stable master is our parent now. He eats with us, so we call it chanko. Meal time comes twice a day. Of course, the rikishi are burning plenty of calories in their workouts, but taking in big quantities of meat and vegetables helps them bulk up. Once their stomachs are full, the time comes for another critical part of the regimen. Napping is very important for sumo rikishi so they can rest their body, get stronger and bigger. So I think it's time for me to go and leave them alone. Shh. 
the nap lasts for three hours. Then the rikishi go about their housekeeping work and other chores. How they spend the rest of the day is up to them. Some are up to for even more training. But whatever they choose, the whole cycle starts all over again early the next morning.